Here we are at Clady Graveyard. see much with these lights but um funny enough even though we've got a testimony of these places two churches were actually built on the one up here at the top of the west church and this here is the ruins of the east church the west church dating back to the 11th century and the east church here dating back to the 13th century and you can see this is the burial place of the was a huge, huge shock because a lot of times, and you will even see it on paranormal investigation programs, like the ghost hunters and ghost adventures. Last night, me and Claude over here.
Here we are guys, here's the, the burial site at St. Monina, or it's said to be the burial site. very much from Amanda. Um, do us a favour guys, just share or start water watch parties, share the stream as much as you can. Start watch parties, just do a bit of work. I will try and get into contact with uh, Steve Manina here. I will try and find out a few facts about our life, rather than just believe what Bubba read in Google. And I have a new square box to play out tonight as well. You can get a screenshot as well, okay? Hey, there were some screenshots of game camp last night. Yeah. There we go. Hello, spirits. Um, have we the spirit of Saint Manina among us this evening? Not here to cause any harm, Saint Manina. We were here the last time, if you remember us, inside the ruins of the church. Oh, mm. here we go. So she does remember us. Thank you, Saint Manina, for confirming your presence. There we go, guys. Um, we have confirmation that Saint Manina is among us. So it's absolutely amazing when you contact a spirit who has passed over 1,500 years ago. So St. Manina, can you tell us, is it true that you were born in the Drumbanaka area of County Down? Were you baptized by St. Patrick himself? you responsible for starting the first convent in the Kalevi South Armagh area? <clears throat> Is it okay if we refer to you as Sister Menina? She was either late answering your question or early answering mine. <laughs> so we'll, we'll ask you your question again then. But the last time she didn't mind us referring to her sister, you know. It was 517 was the year she died, Linda. Um, you say the 6th of July. It was definitely 517 was the year she died. Was it five, the year 517, was that the year you passed from this earth, sister? Was 
was it July the 6th in the year 517 AD? Would you rather we communicate it with you inside the church? Don't be afraid to come forward and speak to us. We're just here to find out about your life. Thank you. We're not here to cause you any offence or harm in any way. So can you confirm if it was St. Patrick that was responsible for your baptism? Or is all that just hearsay? Was somebody else responsible for your baptism? Maybe she would prefer to communicate in the church. Okay. Yep, she would. There we go, guys. She has uh, confirmed she would rather communicate with us in the church. So we're just going to let the motion pass the light and off we go. We'll go over to the same spot as we were the last time. Sorry, sister, for walking on your grave. Because it was in time to live up. make our way over to the ruins of the church because it seems that Sister Manina would rather communicate with us there. church in the ruins of the old church. So Sister Mignana, um, you would rather communicate with us over in here. It's because this area of the graveyard meant a lot to you when you were alive. we near the site of where the first convent was built? Is anyone else that would like to come through us? Hear that there was poets buried in this graveyard. Have you any spirits of any poets? Have you any 
any spirits of any of the clergy. They would have said mass in these churches. Are you still with us, Sister Manina? Or were you just chasing us away from your gravesite? Spirit box now, you may uh, we'll test out the new um we'll test out the new spirit box on the bit isn't worth anything, then we'll just get back to using the apps that were very, very successful um, in the past couple of investigations. Jacqueline and a couple of ones saying I heard a bit of moaning, but that, that could have been what did you hear? A bit of moaning. Have you any spurs that are trapped here? That are having trouble crossing over? Yeah, we're up at old Gilevi Nicole, yeah. Use metal detectors to find the ghosts. No, you know. <laughs> you know? <laughs> no, Joshua, do. don't use metal detectors to find ghosts. It's not, it's not as if spirits have a wee strip of metal in it, you know. <laughs> so, Sister Menina, are you going to come forward and talk to us? Or would you be like to be referred to as Saint Monina? Her real name was Sister Darlius. I can't pronounce that word. Linda McKinney. Uh, I can't pronounce it. Definitely can't pronounce it. Right. Uh, no, I, I, I can't pronounce that. It's Sister Der, Der Lacer. Der Lacer. Sister Der Lacer. Although I, I would feel a fool, fool last night, of course. This wasn't right. Sister, are you happy with us being here at the minute? Or would you like us to leave? Those aren't the ones she's followed us over from the grave. Even though she said this is where she should rather communicate, um, that light hasn't come on once or two from over here. I think we'll leave. We'll find that out spirit box. Just fire it down. We'll just fire the new spirit box on, guys, just to see what it's like. And then. If I don't get much success out of it, now for the first couple of seconds, it'll just be on to the normal radio before we start going through the sweeps, okay? Sir, can you please 
please tell us your name. Speak slowly and clearly. Sorry, what did you say? Could you repeat that? Sir, were you one of the priests that used to say a mouse inside this church? Or were you a member of the congregation? Whether Sister Menina, whether she's still among us or has she gone? You see, it hasn't got as much of the white noise as the other spur box, but it's still a wee bit. No. So, Sister Menina, she hasn't gone. Can you tell us why she's not communicating with us? Would she like us to leave? Just come right up beside me, spirits, and you use our energy if you have to. And what, what business did you have with this graveyard, sir? earthbound spirit that finds a difficult crossing over. This doesn't have as much white noise as the SB7 that we normally used, but at the same time, you know, it was still a bit of a poor connection. And I'll see a copy of the area that we're in. So we're right in the middle of the coffee side. So this one's the thicker square box in the wall here. And we're going to go back and we're going to let Jared uh, run the, uh, the ox that he has in his pool. So the great response is the last Sunday night. So let the light shine on me. I would say that needs square box, it would work well in an area with better with better connection. Is anyone with us here? We're just listening to Jared's up at the minute. Yeah, that was a good up. I want to say they're all flipping party and well for them. <laughs> Being away thinks the old box is better. 
Could the male that was here please come forward again and tell us your name? Ash, Ash, I just saw a black shadow. Where boasted to see the black shadow? Ash. Right. Somebody just messaged the page saying there was an outline of a priest. See, they must have packed something over there. Yeah. Anybody called Taylor with us this evening?
Now, you might want us to go to the grave. Does that mean we're going to have to look around all the graves? Mm. You know? <laughs> Our fella said that, um, oh, no. Are you buried in this graveyard? Jim, if you would like to communicate with us, just walk up to the back wall and stand beside that little device jarred place on the back of the stone. Just to confirm your presence. I only have the same trunk to move from right to left or just underneath the bottom of the window, you know, like the top yeah. of somebody's head. Just look at the size of that. You need to go fuck about well. your self and fuck Linda said there's definitely tailors in this graveyard. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you, Linda. I've seen a spurt before too, washing. Actually, you know that lock keeper's house we did on Monday night? Right. Right. Right, Jim, do you want us to go around and look for where you're buried? It does, you can see the temperature dropping in here, just in here. Just right where it's down. What about you, Coda? Yeah, it's getting chilly. Yeah. That means that the temperature shouldn't be down. But it's showing Hutchinson see it in the window. So we've got a lot of people seeing something in the window here. I've, I've got a couple of screenshots of the window. And then our fellow was seeing a bit of shadow over in the corner. Stop and stop. I seem to get off the game in the last couple of seconds. But I wonder if your man, I wonder if Jim wants us to go around and look for his grave. Jim, would you like us to leave you alone? Maybe his grave isn't too far away. Not an hour speaker gone. <laughs> Not an hour speaker. 
speaker gone. No wiggles. Let's see maybe if Grail's around the back, so that's maybe what's by the shadows now, but I don't know, maybe it's what's we've jumped on. It could be well, Brian. We'll just leave that square box there, let's see, all right. That's like just the living speaker from the top of the top end. From the bed up and down, it's going to be squishing the ball. Take a wee chart round the back to see. Oh, the west side. Let's go to the west side of the chapel. So we'll take a wee run into the west side. We're just going to run into the west side of the chapel, folks. Is there a woman there? Moan no, no. there. That's right, there was a moan earlier on. Remember it's sake, there's a, a couple of people commented. Oh, we got the action there, sound like a moan. Well, you can actually hear another moan. Remember, this was talking earlier on about hearing the moan. You see this gravestone here? Yeah. This is the gravestone where Sophie um, put the video up of Spirit just walking past for the first night we were up there. No worries. Hey, let's see if we saw a man. What's the name of that? Jim. Jim. Jim Taylor. Jim Taylor. Jim Taylor, yeah. Hey, just take a wee walk up. Hey, go ahead, go on, Ryan.
Are you are you buried in this graveyard, Jim? You can hear that because it's a bit of a southern accent. Remember your fella says that there was someone in the corner. Ah. That's a clear figure standing at the corner. That's a clear figure standing at the corner. Can I get that in camera though? Oh. So, so Jim, can you tell us what year that pure. you passed away? stream caught that via a screenshot. It's a figure of somebody. What is the what is that you want to tell us, Jim? <laughs> somebody said out. I caught a wrong, I asked the viewers, I caught a wrong, he said, prick. Prick? I caught a wrong, I caught a wrong, but... So, Jim, did you say prick? Just asked the viewers, they here today, but I heard ours. Well, they the viewers on Do you not want us here, Jim? Just a sweeper through the radio station, sort of. Yeah, Shawnee can hear a violin. I was sure I've heard the last time you were here too, wasn't I? I heard a violin the last time too, yeah. See, there, there's somebody saying out again. Do you want us to leave? Anybody else would like to come through and communicate with us? Something's come in there. Oh. Not here. Not to me, 42. I, the word old's come in. Just got a big rush of what's over here. This, this building that we're talking about. So, we're going to get a screenshot of Jared and Coda and see if I can pick on him to save him. I reckon we we'll go back down and talk to that gay crummy. What do you think?
volgende paar keer gaan we even zappen. Dus kunnen we het zeggen. Are you standing with us? That's just okay. and just burning did you die by burning church came to the way it stands today, was it a fire that maybe took it down? James, James. James, did you die by fire? James, could you give us your surname, if possible? It would really help us. Guys, can I just read that inscription? James, are you still with us?
when we were training in that first one, though, and I asked him now, Traverse. Traverse? What was that mean? I asked him whenever he said to shine him, was that him at the window? I came back at the answer, Traverse. I said, what do you mean, what does that mean? Hey guys, can I work this out for us? Um, the spirit James came back with a word called shining. And Jared was shining in the car shop at the window. And then James, he came back with the word perverse. Can, I, can anybody tell us why you could explain that? Or what it means? What it means, even? A century. A century. So, James, you'd be here a century. Yes. You're very right here a century. Here's the definition of perverse. To behave in a way that's unreasonable or un 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 unacceptable. If you're cold, so. No, nobody's got a half of my cold, No, you're getting a chicken burger, are you? If you're cold, so. Girl. Are you around beside our colleague tonight? Tell me this, Jared. Did that up make that crowd when I was yeah. saying, Jared? Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> I thought I heard a crowd. Sorry, Jason. Use your stomach. Yeah, that no. 
Maureen McKeever Ruddy, she says, perverse means the legal decision made by an irrational person. What would weigh the fire? I think so. No, I'm going to say something. Stay in the east, he yeah. said. Yeah. I felt very calm and relaxed. Stay in here. Uh, here a feeling something we're not welcome. Right, we're going to go and leave you alone now. Okay, spirits in place. We'll see you later. Take care. God bless. Don't follow us home. There was a few crummy headstones. So we're going to go over to Cromie's graves, um, so we got a bit of communication with them the last time we were here. Fail all the time. Oh, look, it's a malevolent spirit. 